Hello and welcome to the fifth Android Basic video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to register a click on a button. This uh, tutorial will be a little bit more complex and I'm going to upload the source code for it. So check out for that link. As I said, the button is going to take you to another menu. So after this lesson, you will learn how to make an application that you can go for different menus, basically. So let's get started. As always, I'm going to start by creating a project. I'm just going to speed up the process. This text is going to be called screen one, because this will be our first screen. And our button will have the text go to screen two. This main.xml file contains all the information needed for the first screen. It tells what what should be on it. So we're going to create another XML file that displays what is going to be on our second screen. So we're going to right click on the layout file, layout folder, new file, and then we're going to name the file to screen2.xml. Every time you create an XML file you have to include the .xml, otherwise it will return an error. error. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. Go to screen one and sorry about that. In our second screen, we're going to have a button that says go to screen one and the title is going to be screen two. We need an ID for our button in order to refer it from our XML code. So we're going to name this, this first ID to B screen, go to screen. Two. And this one is going to be B go to screen one. Now we're going to go in here. Yeah, sorry, we won't actually need this button. Never mind. It's going to clean our project. If the R file in here doesn't show up in the gen folder, just go to your project and click on clean. It should show up after that if your project has no errors. I'm just gonna explain a little bit what this Java code does. This is what your file begins with. Basically what it does is that it creates a type of object called that extends an activity. More on that later. And it get and here in the onCreate method, when the screen itself is created. It gets the content from our XML file, from our layout.main file over here. So if I would switch this one to screen two, it would take the information from this screen instead, from this XML file. Since we're going to work with a button, we have to create a new button in our Java code. We call it go to screen two. You will have to import the button object to your project. Then we're going to type it equal to parenthesis button find view view by id r dot id dot b go to screen two. Basically, what this does is that you create a button, and the id of the button is going to be the id of go b go to screen two, which is this button which we created over here. So now we can change whatever we want to with our button. What we're going to do is that we're going to create an on key listener, which basically checks if the button has been clicked on. So we're going to have go to screen two dot. And we can see all the functions for a button in Java code. As you can see, there are a lot, but we are going to use the set on click listener down here. Register a callback to be invoked when this view is clicked. Yes, thank you. I'm going to type new view dot on click listener. And it creates automatically all of this. I'm just gonna type a column after this one, otherwise it will return an error. So when the what will we do when the 
button itself is clicked, well, we are going to create something called a new intent. This will handle the switch over to our second menu. It's very easy. We just type intent. So we're going to create an object of the type intent. And we're going to name it screen2. It should be equal to a new intent. Com dot like you are now. What I do is I type in our package name, com dot igr tutorial vid5. Type in whatever your package name over here is, and we type dot. Our what did we are going to name our second screen to? Yeah, let's name it our second. Our sec second screen. Going to have to import the intent object again, as we did with our button. And then we're going to start the activity, or our so-called screen menu. The screen to intent. So basically what the start activity does is that it starts a new intent, which in this case is a new screen. So when we click on the button, which has the ID be go, go to screen two. It will go to go to our screen two. Now we will name our second Java file. The name of our Java file will be this: our second screen without the capitals, without without all the capitals. I'm going to, I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy this file. And name it our second screen. On a Java file, you don't have to type .java afterwards as you do with the XML files. We're going to remove every check for a button because this layout. Sorry, we have to change the layout first to screen two. If we would have this code remaining, it would return an error when we go to the screen because this layout does not contain the button. So we're going to remove it so we don't get an error for that. So our second screen .java is going to get the content from our screen 2xml file. Now we just have to do one little thing more. Whenever we want to create a new activity, we have to go inside our android manifest.xml down here. We you will be met by this, but we're going to go to the android manifest.xml our part over here. We're going to copy this activity, which is what we are creating when we go to our second menu. The name of the activity should always be what your Java file is. As you can see, this is dot tutorial vid five activity, exactly what this is named. So after the dot mark, mark you type in the title of your Java file, our second screen with the exact same capitals everywhere. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to switch the name of our our activity to whatever we referred to our intent. Com.ligr.tutorial with five dot our second screen. And copy this in here. In exactly the same name and capitals as we had over here. And we're going to change change this name to default. If it is a launcher, it means that the application will start up by running that file, which is this one at the moment, and we're going to keep it that way. And now it's time to run the application. As always, I will cut the video while the emulator Here is starts. Here is our application. I am now going, now going to try to go to our second screen by pressing the button. As you can see, this is screen 1. I'm going to press, press the button. Screen 2, as you can see, we successfully switched up to another menu. Now we can even go back to our previous screen simply by pressing the back button. So now we can know how to navigate through an application. I'm just going to remind you of some things you should keep in mind. So basically what you need to think of is that the name of the activity in Android Manifest inside this activity part should be the exact same as your Java file. For example, dot tutorial with five activity is 
exactly the same as this file. The name of the activity in Android manifest inside intent filter. And the name here should be exactly the same as your intent in your Java file. For example, if we go down here, com.ligr, it is exactly the same as our intent in our tutorial with 5. So keep that in mind and you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. So that was all for this video. Hopefully you liked it. I am going to move in two days, so I might not have any internet for a week or so, so I won't be able to upload a video, but as soon as I get it online I will start uploading again. Please just sit tight, I will be back soon. So thank you all for watching, please have a nice day, bye bye.